there! I'm the Epta, and welcome back to our Pokemon Arceus Nuzlocke. Last time we lost our friend, so we are going to start this episode sadly by depositing him in the, or her in the box, and uh, I guess we will also then see who we can add to the team. Because that is the way things are going to go. So let's hop on over here and swing by the pasture. I can't believe that bird got us. I mean, like, it really shouldn't have, but it is what it is. Why would I get to keep my starter? Um, so we get to keep these ones, and you need to move over here. Alright, and let's see what new Pokemon we do get to add. Um, Alright. So we've got Deer Track Path, Obsidian Fields, Obsidian Fields, Aspiration, Obsidian Fields, Nature's Pantry. Okay, so we get a Pikachu, and we get a Baneary, and I think that's all. Okay, but that does mean we, for the first time, will have a full team. Um, so we've got Pikachu and Baneary. Um, so we need to come up with a name. Um, so we're going to go ahead and this Pikachu is a boy, so we're going to name him Patrick. It's my go-to male Pikachu name. All right. We have Patrick and it is a boy Baneary. Um, last time we named our female Baneary Bounce, but I really don't see a problem with that being a gender neutral name. So we're gonna name uh, this Baneary Bounce as well. All right, there we go. We have a full squad. And off we go. And that probably means that we're about to have the um, battle with Cleavor this episode. So hopefully this will go better than last time. Alright, you got some news? Yeah, sure, we can go to the Heights camp. Mandatory cutscening! I mean, it's a good thing I wanted to go to the Heights camp and that I already dealt with the pasture. I guess you can always deal with it through the, uh, the guards at the camp as well. Oh yes, where deer. This is very exciting. I'm very happy that we get to ride on his back. All right. He's very nice. Yep, he's gonna have her demonstrate because we find out that he apparently is rubbish at this. It's also a very cool uh, sound that she's making from an instrument that has no like buttons to push. But I guess that's why it can go kind of up and down like that. Alright. Now this one's yours. Yay! I can't play it for the life of me. Let's see if I can play the melody. So, we're playing his melody, but uh, he has to get used to our style of playing. We also move differently than um, May. We almost look like we're hiccuping. He just, he sounds so grumpy for having opened his heart to us. Alright. And we got a mind plate. Cool. Alright. Let's go galloping then. I think we are going to just head straight there since we do have a full team, so we'll catch some of the other encounters later, potentially. Um, Oh, we gotta find out about the balloon stuff. Yep, hi. Tell me all about balloons. Alright, yep, 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 yep. Okay. I kind of almost want to try this, just because we didn't try it last time. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. Okay. I'll try it. There's 30 balloons. Alright. Go! 
okay. How do we get up there? Whoa. Oh, these ones are moving. That's unexpected. I missed. Oh well, keep going. Run! I don't think we're gonna get to 17. I don't know, we might. Ah. Get two more. Ah! Okay, too short. Oh well, we tried. I need to figure out how to jump, apparently. Yeah, uh, an iron chunk. Okay, thanks. Alright, we tried it. Oh, that's a lot of drift hands. Okay, lovely. We're just gonna kind of mosey right on past them. Goodbye. Yep, you can be mad at me all you want to. We're not stopping for you, Geodude. <laughs> the little red eye is just not gonna go. Oh, it's hailing. Um, what's with the weather? I don't remember ever seeing weather before. Um, sorry to take you out in the rain. Oh, he actually, you can see his coat looks soggy. That's crazy. Also, where did this funky saddle come from? All right. Let's not trigger an alpha battle, thank you. Is he following us? I don't know, something is still following us. Okay, whatever it is finally gave up, that's good. All right, whoa, that's a big hole. Sorry there, bud. All right. You know what I just realized? Is we did all of that without doing any battling, and so I think we probably should uh, get Geodude at a couple of levels. Um, unfortunately, the first Pokemon we're going to come across is much more suited for Patrick. So we'll let Patrick go ahead and uh, deal with his Psyduck. Um, this might actually be a terrible idea. Um, let's go ahead and switch to Sean. Just to be on the safe side. Because that's a level 16 side up. In the water. So it's boosted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and agile style Thundershock. But I don't think it's going to make me fast enough to get a second attack off. Oh wow. That was a crit. Okay, that's about to be like, that's a lot more damage than I expected this to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just normal Thundershock and finish it off. I did a lot of damage. I'm really glad I switched uh, Patrick out of there. We'd have lost Patrick for sure. Um, all right. Oh, we did not have that many potions, but we do have enough orange berries and stuff to make them. So let's go ahead and while we're thinking about it, real quick, um, go ahead and make some more potions. We can also make a few super potions. Let's go ahead and make three of those um, and thirteen potions. Okay. So there we go. We got a good number more of those now. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to have Geodudette hit the tree without dealing with the Psyduck. Nope, okay. Are you a lower level Psyduck, maybe? Can, I, can Patrick actually battle you? No. I don't think so. We'll switch to Sean again. Water pulse. That does a lot. Um, I am going to go ahead and heal. And maybe we'll get a turn where it doesn't do that. Bubble. Okay, let's just bubble it. 
Based off of the last one, I think if we strong style this, that we will take it out. There we go. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Um, let's go ahead and actually send Geodude at now to grab a couple of the uh, quick things around here. I'm hoping there's a few more trees we can maybe harvest stuff off of. Um, did I run right past the Wurmple? I did. Boink! Ooh, what is this? I dazzling my... Okay, and we've got the Wurmple. Lovely. Can I throw that far? No. Okay. Boink! There we go. I'd like to get Geodude up just to 16. I'm just looking for one more level, so it's not that far off experience-wise. Oops. Apparently I'm battling a Baneri. Wasn't what I intended, but... Oh, and ran away. Okay, but well, that's fine. There's some lovely, um... Lovely Zubat. Okay, fine. Let's try this again, shall we? Seriously, guys? Come on. Battle me. Battle me. Thank you. Roll out. There we go. Thank you. Um, okay, that's pretty close level-wise. Did I completely miss? I missed the tree again. Really? Tree! Go to the tree. Thank you. Okay. Oh, we did get the level up, so that's good at least. Can I not hit that Zubat? Oh, it must be too far away. Thank you. Okay. Hypnosis, that's fine. Because Hypnosis really doesn't do much in this game. Okay. Missed ya. That's alright. We're just gonna look around, that's fine. We do actually also probably want to try and catch... Okay, we're not gonna catch that one. Chesto Berry and some Grit Dust. Okay. Battle you now. Roll out again. I really probably should be using something other than roll out, so I have some roll outs left. But that's okay. Alright. Let me do it level wise, Geo. Do that. Okay, yeah, you still are very near the beginning of 16. I think this is gonna be good enough. I hope. Alright. Let's go, um. Up to battle, I guess. Um, oh, who's, who needs heals? You need heals. Okay, I'll give you some heals. We have enough stuff to make one more potion. So I guess we're going to do that just to be on the safe side. We'll craft some Pokeballs while we're in here as well. Oops. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, because we can make 20 more of those. So, I will do that. All right, um, we're gonna lead with um, Sean, I think, because we have to battle with her. And I honestly don't remember which evolution she had. Maybe I should lead with Betty. Let's lead with Betty, because I don't think it was electric. Um, I think it was, was it Glaceon or Espeon? I don't remember. All right, yes, we are ready. We're gonna throw food at him. That's an unorthodox approach. <laughs> that's, that's an understatement. I'm surprised they're honestly okay with us throwing food at their sacred, you know, lord. Alright. Alright. Let's go. I want to know where the Glaceon comes from. Alright, so Glaceon is ice, which means I believe we should be pretty well set with Good Betty. We don't actually. Well, I guess Geodude would have a super effective attack, but it would also be hit super effectively, so. Uh, let's go ahead and. Swift. Yeah, it's okay, damage. Yeah, it did a little bit more than I wanted. <gasps> Items. Where are my super potions? 
use. Betty. There you go, Bob. All better. That is a lot of damage. Um... What do we do now? I mean... This is not a sustainable solution right now that we got going on. Um, I guess I could switch. So far we've only seen it use normal type moves, which would say that Geodude would be reasonably okay. Um, or we switch to Sean. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna switch to Sean. Um, he has evolved, and I'm hoping he can take one, and then do some more damage back. That did just as much of a problem for this. Um, actually, I think he took it a little bit better. But still not enough when he could take two. How many Swifts do you have? Oh wait, no, not fight. Wait, actually, could I fight if I quick attack? Yes, I can quick attack and then heal. That's gonna be the strat. It worked for us before, it'll work for us again. There we go. Um, oh, quick attack is not fast enough? What about, ad nope, even with agile style. Alright, so we're just gonna have to heal this turn. We are not losing anybody right now. Alright, if I quick attack agile, nope, still not fast enough. This might be a problem. How many swifts do they get? I mean, because I guess the other option is I could try to switch in Geodudette, but if, um, if they use a ice move, Geodudette is just gone. And we need Geodudette for Cleavor. Cleavor. That was the one that was doing the most damage for us last time for that. It's fine. It's fine. Nope, still not just don't know what to do here, other than heal. I mean, if she would quick attack, I think we could take two quick attacks. But the problem is that if they quick attack, we'll probably get to attack. They probably would get to attack twice. I can't keep stalling this, to be honest. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch to Mozart. This is probably a terrible idea, but I'm gonna switch to Mozart. Um, and I'm gonna slash. Good damage. Quick attack. We take that. Mozart's got a lot of HP. Okay, that was a crit, though. So, we're gonna go ahead and super potion up Mozart. Because that was a crit. So, Swift shouldn't have done that much. So, we gotta just believe in Mozart here. Do you not have any, um, do you not have any, uh, ice moves? Heal Mozart back up to full, and then we should be able to take two. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit here. Come on, Mozart. Oh, we missed. Of course we missed. Okay, um, are we out of super- no, we have- we have super potions still. Alright, let's try this again. We only have to get off, I think, probably one strong hit. Um, try slash again. Why is- This is not going well. Um, I was really hoping to have some of these super potions left when we battled Cleavor. I don't remember this battle being this bad last time. Um. Come on, Mozart. 
You gotta come up with something for me, buddy. Okay, um... I'm gonna... Try normal absorb here. It's... Why am I... Why is he missing everything? Like, is your accuracy just terrible, bud? I don't want to use any more of my super potion, honestly. Powdered snow. We survived that, but we're frozen. Um. If we don't heal him, he's gone. I am going to go ahead and super potion one more time on Mozart here. Maybe we can use this turn. Oh, he's hurt by frostbite. Great. Um, I am going to use this turn to potion on Betty. And then send her out and we'll use her to use Swift because that should do more than enough to take this out. Oh, you're going to quick attack, double attack, aren't you? Go Mozart! Go Mozart! Alright, we're switching Betty in. And... We are going to switch. Please be enough. Thank you! Okay, we somehow made that through without losing anybody. I think that was a little bit of dumb luck, but I'll take it. And almost everybody's leveled up, except for Geodude. Of course. Okay, so... Do we get a chance, um... To potentially throw something at the tree before we, um... Because if we could, that might be enough for Geodudat to, uh... Level up. But I have a feeling we're gonna go straight into the battle here. Alright. Uh, let's not be hasty. Give me just a minute. Are you serious? I just need a second. Jeez, dude, I just want to heal my Pokemon. Alright, uh, where's that tree? I saw a tree in the background. I don't see it in actuality, though, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and do it. I'm ready. I'm ready, okay. As am I. All right, here goes something. We got some food for you. Yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna pitch it at you like a baseball. Dodging will be vital. All right, let's try not to die. Okay. That's a big tree. That's a really, really large tree. And a very yellow glowing. I'm looking forward to seeing what he looks like when he's not glowing yellow. Because I'm assuming that this is part of his... He looks like he belongs in, like, the Sizor family. Is he, like, the Sizor get a new evolution? Alright. Uh, to claim your victory, throw bulbs until its friend you gave reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening, you'll be able to send a Pokemon out to battle it. Okay. Um, so... Oh, okay. This is what I'm supposed to send in a Pokemon. Alright. Do do that. Air Slash. That hurt a bit, but... Um... We're gonna go ahead and roll out. Okay, that did about almost half damage. <gasps> Critical hit! Come on! Okay, um. Super effective water move. Okay. Betty, do good things for us, girl. Um, Aqua Jet. And Aqua Jet to give the speed priority potentially, so we can potentially get off. That hurt. 
Aqua Jet. Finish it off. Come on, Betty. Okay. Throwing stuff, throwing stuff, throwing stuff, throwing stuff, throwing stuff, dodging. Um. Go, Sean. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but should at least resist the air slash move. Stealth rock hurts. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and use fight. Agile. Huh? That did good. Oh, and then we'll we'll definitely heal. I'm not loving how this is looking like it's gonna go for Sean. Those pointed trigger oh, double hit. That's a problem potentially. Oh, and go by Sean. Okay then. Um, Betty's still at half health. I guess, oh, Mozart would not survive an air splash. Um, I guess we send out Bounce. Oh, Quick Attack's not very effective, though. How much do we need to do, though? A lot. Um, let's go ahead and switch. I don't know if his special or physical defense is higher. And goodbye, Bounce. Okay. Um, we're gonna send out Patrick, and we're gonna Thunder Wave him. I think that's my best bet right now. Paralyzed, maybe unable to move. Okay. Self drop. There went Patrick. Okay. Um, we're gonna send out Betty, and we're gonna heal her up. That's what we're down to right now. Items. Potion. Use. On Betty. Whew. This battle is brutal. Okay. Oh, finally abandoned his hard hitting stance. Um, no, we're running. And then I'm gonna try and just chuck things at it. Um... We can do. I gotta put myself against, kind of against the wall, so that way hopefully he will charge into the wall. All right, this is the strategy apparently. Let him run into a wall and then throw a bunch of these things at him. I forgot that he starts doing that. Oh. If we get hit one more time, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. Oh, no. Maybe not. He ran into the tree. Okay, I'll take that. Alright, he sees me. Ran into the tree again. Okay, I'm using this tree to my advantage. All right, where is he? Oh, there he is. All right. Hi there. I see you. I missed you. 
Hi there. Hiya. I like this tree. This tree is my new best friend. You can't hit me if there's a tree between us. <laughs> Miss me. Thank you for running into a tree. All right. I see you. Are you going to come around? All right, cool. I think we got this. At what cost, but... Alright, I think he's... I think he's treed himself out. Okay! Well then. Dunk. Whew! Um... Oh! Well, you're... Much more drab than I expected. Well, that was unpleasant. Yeah, you're very... Thank you for the insect plate. Alright, we survived. Sort of. What happened? I don't know. Some kind of light erupted from Cleavor's body. Yeah, it did do that, that's for sure. Has Lord Cleavor's friendly mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleavor's unnatural power? Yep. Maybe. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We now know sh strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleavor and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space-time rift, then that strange lightning... It indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power? Then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokémon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleavor to attack, or to turn on us and attack people and Pokémon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What an to accomplish just now. It needed to be done. I'm glad that we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokémon in the grips of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm, I suppose. I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly and composed. I'm grateful what, for what you've done for my lord. Please, take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Concern at my apology for having spoken rudely about you earlier, and a token of my thanks. <sighs> Citrus berries, cool. Let me care for your Oh, yeah, well, that's gonna do us so much good, because... We've got one left. It's okay. I didn't mind, wouldn't mind seeing Lord Frenzy. I, he was fearfully. No, 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 no. Um. See, I guess we are going to. Uh, let's see here. Head back to. Oh wait, what's what's our current mission at? Um, report to commander. Okay. So I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and just travel back to the uh, original base camp, and we can uh, talk to the professor and head home from there. <laughs> sure. I don't know why I even bothered to do that. Probably because I knew it would send me home. I think it sends me home, right? 
All right. Okay, cool. Lovely. Uh, let's head back to the village and report to Commander Kamado. Yep. Hello, Valo. I saw the lady light faded into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what ha do you have there? Could it be? Ah, those are two of the old fabled plates of old. Please let me have a look. Okay. I see there are some letters carved into them. This one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. Uh, those seem to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? A Pokemon gave them to me? I see, so you've given these plates when you impressed Weirdeer and Creevor. It's quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. That it is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across Hisu. If we gather them all together and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy it is to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. See you, Valo. So I think we're going to go ahead and trigger the cutscene here and then wrap up after that. So let us head on upstairs. Here we go. Upstairs we go. And I wonder what they're going to have us do next. I'm guessing the Diamond Clan is going to have us go deal with their Lord Pokemon. Right, because one was so easy. Well done. I've already received the reports of your exploits. You've successfully quelled Cleavor's frenzy, restoring peace to the mind of Peace's people. You are a stranger of us, one who fell out of the very sky you, you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you've earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I've received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisu. Please carry on with your research and survey duties and prove you are truly an asset to us. That is all who I'd have dismissed. Your fellow survey corp- Okay, go on and join them. Alright. Well then. Cool. Is it gonna cut scene of down into the wallflower? That appears to be a yes. Okay. More potato mochi, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend- Our young friend here. I didn't want anyone to serve you before, but now you're our young friend. She's got some quite- quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off people. I mean, I lost five out of my six Pokemon. I dare say I didn't do that good. And she was a quick study of how Kiwar moved in battle from what I heard. Well, yeah, I had to be, thank you. All in all, a very good show. A victory well earned. Going to work in the Fieldlands should feel a lot safer now, thanks to you, Naefta. And if you want so to feel even safer, try making some of these. Benny taught me how to make them. I wrote out his directions into a recipe. Smoke bombs. Lovely. <laughs> and now that we need not worry about being mauled by Cleavor either, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call Obsidian Fieldlands their home. Well, I mean, at least we know there's a couple of areas that we didn't get Pokemon from, so we can do some of that. Napta? I've been waiting for you, Napta. My name is Vesa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Okay. Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Hisu is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. Um, I hate to think what might happen at this rate. Oh my gosh, Giratina? Um, so please, Nefta, hear me out. I need to restore the broken seal. Um, just tell me what to do. No, wait, Giratina, yeah, Giratina's Gen 4, right? Yeah. Um, thank you so much. I'm so happy you believe me. I knew you'd be willing to help. The old odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Okay. 
But that normally has to do with spirit too. Okay. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Hisu. A hundred and seven of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. Okay. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? Okay. Purple flame, just touch it. Okay, we'll do that next time. So, we are going to wrap up for today. Thanks, you guys, so much for joining me. I'm Naepta, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later!